Queenie Nerdigans. This is the one and only Cracker Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's Manga Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for One Punch Man Chapter 170. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, um, so last chapter we, uh, got multiverse theory, according to, uh, to Genos, because that core picked up everything that happened, uh, in the parallel world, in the other alternate timeline, so to speak. That was freaking awesome, and I'm not surprised by it at all. I think that's pretty damn badass. And only Genos knows about it. Saitama don't remember it. Uh, Garo's other self came through, though, um, but Garo don't remember it either, but yeah. Uh, the other thing is, though, I have to mention it, is Sweet Mask, you have no room to call anyone a monster. Nah, you have no room for this. All you're doing right now, all this comes off as is you straight up projecting. <laughs> Webcomic readers, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. But, anyways, because uh, the anime uh, announcement is right in front of me, I do have to mention this, and I put it in the description box, the correction. Uh, that was Deep L's fault for this. Uh, it gave me a huge L that the character designer's name is uh, Takashi Kubota. Yes, I know. Uh, damn you, Deep L. I, I hate you right now for this. Do. But the other thing I do want to um, point out, and I did mention it in my video, I believe, is that um, everyone's been pointing out that the arms, especially, are looking very, uh, well, very bulky. And I've been thinking that they, I was thinking about this before I started recording, they look very roidy. <laughs> it's very roidy, isn't it? Oh, it is! It's so roidy. But yeah, I still stand by my statement in regards to the jawline and the hair for Garo. But yeah, them bodies are looking roidy and and, uh, and chunky. Oh god, they are. But and it's the costumes too. Yeah, it, 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 that doesn't help either. It doesn't. But anyways, let's get to this chapter. See what's in store for us today. And by the way, this um. The manga is going on a one-month hiatus, so no chapter next month, which I mentioned yesterday. All right, so this chapter is titled, What Was Gained? I love this color page. Oh, God, I do. And there's Garo and Bang down there just chilling. There's um, Babuki and Tatsumaki just chilling. And then, of course, Saitama and Genos just chilling. And I... Oh God. I, don't th I said this last night, and I'm sticking by my statement. I don't think any studio is going to be able to adapt this. Nah, unless Murata is cracking the whip, it's not going to happen. No. And that's when I realized what the world needs is not biased justice, but absolutely unbiased evil. A true peace through unbiased fear that heroes just can't achieve. A half-assed peace made by heroes just makes humans complacent in their hearts, and that complacency leads to evil deeds. Also, humans aren't always punished for their misdeeds. That's the crucial difference between them and monsters. An imperfect, fake brand of peace that uh, turns humans evil. A Oh, God, he's not wrong for this. A piece where uh, where you can't even make things right for one ugly little brat getting picked on in the in a, um, a corner of the park. I knew it. Um, I knew in my heart what I had to do. I would renounce that kind of peace. I get stronger than everyone else. I become the absolute monster that... Um, wait, I fucked this up. I'm sorry. I would renounce that kind of peace. I get stronger than everyone else. I become the absolute monster that no justice could ever take down. You realize this is a dining dash investigation. Do you, you regret what you did? <laughs> oh,
He's not wrong, though. Where's the lie? But I have to say this, though, uh, uh, as well. Justice is very, very subjective. So is good and evil. Good and evil and justice, well, it is very, very subjective. But, um... But, but um... When he says bias justice, right? He's saying bias justice. Yeah, bias justice is correct though. That's what, um, because everyone's just uh, version of justice is different. So I understand what he's saying with that. Unbiased evil. Well, unless you cross a certain line, then um, it's hard to tell. You can't say it's evil unless you cross a certain line. It's really hard. It's really hard to define evil as well. Well, it's easier to define evil compared to, like, justice, but you gotta cross a certain line before you get to, you get to eat, like, real evil. But, yeah. But this is true, though. A true peace through unbiased fear that heroes just can't, uh, but anyway, uh, a true peace through unbiased fear that heroes just can't achieve. A half-assed peace uh, made by heroes just makes humans complacent in their hearts and that complacent leads to evil deeds. He is not wrong here, though! He isn't! Where's the lie? Also, humans aren't always punished for their misdeeds. That's the uh, crucial difference between them and monsters. An imperfect fake brand of peace that turns humans evil. Dude, he is not wrong! Where's the lie? A peace where you can't even make things right for one little, um... Or one ugly little brat getting picked on in the uh, in a corner of the park. He, but where's again? Where's the lie? He is absolutely right. He is. This is very true. That biased justice is true though, because um only uh certain people will uh or certain in the case of One Punch Man. Monsters will get defeated. Certain criminals will get, um, will have their day in court. It's true. This, these are facts. I do not have any complaints about this writing. This mom, I'm telling you, this manga gets deep. <laughs> I love this stuff. This is just a tiny dash investigation. <laughs> it's the question that he asked. What a road it's uh what a road it's been. The interrogation about the damage you caused ended last week too. Now we can finally focus on making the rounds and apologizing to the victims of your hero hunt. Hm. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Carl's parents never showed up during his detention. Aww. This old head may not be good for much, but being able to bow it for you makes me glad it's still attached. All it takes to become a parent is to have children, but you can't become a teacher without leading the way for them. That's deep as hell! Oh my god! This is fucking deep! All it takes to become a parent is to have children, but you can't become a teacher without leading the way for them. Again! This manga is deep as hell! Like... <laughs> what the hell? You sure... <laughs> and even Carl's like, you bastard! Uh, you sure gave me a hard time. But it helped that you were in a place that was easy to find. God, this art is gorgeous. Garo, uh, what now? Found me already, you old windbag? It didn't take much looking. I'm the one who showed, uh... <laughs> <I'm> the... <laughs> it didn't take much looking. I'm the one who showed you where these secret training grounds were. Uh, he may well have wanted me to find him. Just, yeah, I think he did. I think he did, actually. Uh, just so you know, old man, you better not get the wrong idea. The only reason I came back to you is so I can remember my fist. Um, I found by hunting heroes that I can't find anyone else out there besides you that's good enough to keep sparring with me on, on a daily basis. I'm so glad I meet your standards. Back then, I uh, got decked before I even knew what was happening. And in that moment, I completely forgot all the secrets that had awakened um, in me since turning into a monster. Oh, that's true. Uh, oh, yeah, do you know how he's doing? He? 
Tario, I mean. Oh, he cares about Tario! Ah, the hostage child that was found during the operation. Um, I hear he's doing well. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, uh conspired with each other. Uh, guess you're the uh, monster, Tario. Okay, sure. Take this, Justice Ranger Kick! Uh, monster destroyed, lol. Huh? Oh, it's transfixed! You thought that I was some kind of monster? I'm Girl Man the Volume! Yeah! <laughs> No matter how much I get beat, I'll always get back up again. Come at me all, all at once, you fake heroes! <laughs> yeah! Get it, Tyro! Uh-huh, what the hell is that backstory? Don't just make things up, just explode already! Fuck off! <laughs> hey, Tario! Um, what am I cunt? Gia, isn't that the super uh, rich guy's um rich guy uh, Namiki son? Want to? Oh, I became friends with him. Want to come uh, game at my place? I just got I just uh, downloaded uh, King Musou. <laughs> ah! Oh, that sounds fun. Uh, Tario, you, you you you're friends with uh Magama Kun? Yep. Can I invite my friends over too? Sure. He said okay. Let's all play together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> This is a child. Woo! He got a gift from Child Number Two. This is a Child Number Model backpack. Cool, right? Magama, yay! Ever since that incident, you've become so mature. I can barely recognize you. They grow up fast, don't they? Indeed, sir. Like father, like son, they say. <laughs> Come on, Dad, scoot over. Please excuse me. <laughs> do your best, Tario. I'm gonna do the same. Woo! I love this. This is so cute. Oh, man, you uh, think you could arrange some sort of fighting contest with the heroes for me? Hmm? The ones I fought after turning into a monster were uh, were you, Bomb, Flash, Blast, and that weird bald guy, Saitama, or something. If I take them all um, on in order, I'm pretty sure I could reach some sort of awakening without monster monsterizing this time. Oh, so you already think that uh, you could beat me? Don't get so ahead of yourself, young man. <laughs> huh? After all, my back has been feeling quite good since Metal Knight uh, performed the full body maintenance on us. Ooh. You'd best come prepare for a real workout. <laughs> Bring it on. Silver Fang's successor? Uh, yes. Silver Fang be uh, will become his guardian and will introduce him to the association eventually. He said this is, uh, he said this as he was submitting his resignation. Oh. Ooh, the hole he's living is a big one to fill. If he's good enough to get that man's, um, Backing, I'd like to see him on the roster as soon as possible. So what's the rookie like? Well, you know, you'll just have to wait and see. Uh, don't be like that. Garl's gonna be a hero! Garl, huh? All we can do now is trust in Silver Fang. I mean, in Mr. Bang's ability to re uh, rehabilitate him. If we bring him on, I'm sure there will be a huge backlash from the other heroes, but there's no other choice. Bolstering our forces in preparation for the Great Prophecy is more important than anything else. No, see... They understand this. They know. They're like, dude, there's bigger problems ahead. We need what we can get. We need to get all the reinforcements we can. And if that means Garo, we need him. Well, we can't exactly go out drinking together since you're underage. I guess there's no better way to getting to know each other than having a nice chat. Are there any girls you like? Huh? What the hell? You're creeping me out. <laughs> it can be an idol or anyone. Hmm. Well, if you twist my arm, the girl who plays Gal, uh, Gal, Gal, Gal Ranger, <laughs> her name's Ke uh, Carol or something. Oh, an actress from a Sentai show. That caught me off guard. Huh? But aren't the yellow ones in Sentai shows usually the big, strong, curvy loving types? Huh? Your info's out of date, old man. Let me tell you about Sentai nowadays. Aw, they're funny. This is so cute. Sensei! Oh, another clam! Yay! That's a huge clam! I sure hope the first thing uh, we find is a pot. Agreed. Oh! Uh, Kira, who plays Gao Yellow in Wild Beast Sentai uh, Gao Ranger, she resembles Gao's mom, but unlike his mom, she seems like a kind person. Oh! Oh, it's a mom! It's, it's always a mama issue or a daddy issue. It always is. Woo! Okay, so this is why we're getting a new, we are getting a month uh, hiatus. 
It's a new saga from the next time, but I'm going to take a break for about a month from now on. We will notify you as soon as uh, the schedule of publication date of the new uh, chapter is decided. So yes, we will be getting a new, um, a new saga, a new arc uh, next, uh, next month. I am stoked. This chapter was a really cute way to conclude it. Oh my god, this was a really cute way to conclude this. I know, um, I don't, we got a couple, I think we got at least, like, maybe one more arc, maybe two more arcs before we get to where the webcomic, um, started the, um, uh, oh my god, to the blast arc. But let me give you, actually, I should do it this way. Let me give you my thoughts on this chapter, and then I'll give you my thoughts on the arc as a whole. Especially in terms of how um, we conclude this arc. I really like this chapter a lot. This chapter was very cute. I love seeing um, Garo and Bing um, make amends like this. I think it's really adorable. I like how it started for the hit and run. <laughs> or not say it run, sorry. The Dino Dash. That shit was funny as hell. Um, but... Was what Garo said wrong, though? No! What he said was not wrong. But I, I love that it was an app from the <laughs> Tiny Dash Derogation. But I love the whole thing for this. Um, I love what he said, though. All it takes to be a parent is to, you know, just give birth. Um, to give life. But to be a teacher is to lead the, um, to lead the way. Um... And Garo, like, being abandoned by his parents really says a lot. It explains a lot. But Bang being that father figure for uh, Garo really helps. He's going to be put on that right path by Bang now. And Bang feels horrible because he didn't get the... He, he wasn't there for Garo when he needed him the most. So... It's like an atonement for him. And I do like that the Hero Association, you know, recognizes that Bang is going to be able to rehabilitate him. Um, and uh, is going to leave them alone while he does this shit. So I'm really, I'm happy about that. I, I am. Oh, that's right. We got the flashy flash arc to boot. Oh my god, I just remember. We got the flashy flash arc coming up as well. Oh my god. Okay, let me talk about this arc as a whole, and then I will talk about, um, the fl Oh god. Oh god. Okay, so this arc as a whole... Oh, this arc as a whole was amazing, okay? Because we got- we got two manga renaissance movements out of this arc! Oh my god, we did! We're talking about, like, the whole thing! Um, including, uh, because- we're including Psychos' battle with uh, uh, Tatsumaki and Garo's fight with uh, um, uh, with Saitama. That's both manga renaissance movements as a whole. But if we're just going to talk about um, the fight, if we're just going to talk about the fight with Saitama and, and Garo, that's a whole different story. But now, I feel like we got that this encompasses like the whole, I feel like it encompasses the whole thing in a way. Part of me really does. But yeah, it yeah, it really does. But yeah, we got two manga renaissance movements out of this. We did. Holy shit, I can't believe that. Yes, we did. This art has been amazing. It's been like an evolution with this art. It's been a true journey with this art. The writing, of course, is everything. Um, what else do I want to say about this? I really... Oh, God. Let's talk about God. God up in this arc was fantastic. Oh, my God. I love how God was introduced. Um, I like the other thing. Uh, oh, that's the other thing I want to mention. I like the little um, little hints, the little Easter eggs and everything that uh, for, you know, of course, the upcoming arcs that we're going to get. But the thing that I really liked was the blast content. The blast content for me was very interesting. Like the connections that we got to see between Blast and uh, Sweet Mask, because we know we know about that. We know about Sweet Mask. 
Um, and then the connections between Blast and Tatsumaki was very interesting how significant uh, he is um, to her. So it, that is going to come into play in the Blast arc. And then obviously, of course, I, I can't not talk about the best, um, the other best fight in here, which was uh, um, Garo versus Saitama. That fight was everything gorgeous be it started the second manga renaissance movement for christ's sake it's just everything what what Murata has done in this arc with this art as i said it's revolutionary it is you have to admit that's true it is revolutionary what he he's done with this art it's very revolutionary and as I said in my video, it's going to be very hard for someone who would, or for a studio to adapt this. I don't know if it is adaptable unless he crack in the whip. But in terms of like a future arc, um, I swear to God, if this flashy flash arc gets fucked up and it has the shitty ending that it had in the web comic, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. Please, for the love of God fix the flashy flash arc don't have saitama steal the kill please that really pissed me off i really really fucking hated that ending because that the flashy flash arc was was everything i got everything that i wanted but that and i feel like we're gonna get more from this i can't wait to see how the flashy flash arc gets adapted i can't wait to see the lore with the village um, and like the training and like the body between Flashy Flash and, um, and speed and, uh, speed of sound Sonic. I can't wait to see that shit. I can't wait to see the fights that we're going to get, but I swear to God, if the ending is still the same, I am going to be mad. I'm going to actually probably be triggered if the ending is still the same. I will be so pissed. Please, Murata, I am begging you change that fucking ending, please. Please change that ending or I will hate life. <laughs> but now in terms of this tournament here or this uh, of what Garo wants to do and how he wants to make amends. I like that. I like how he wants to do it. He wants to try. He wants to just fight against them, which I think is great. I think Metal Bat would be down with that, too. Right, kitties? I can't, oh God, it'll be interesting to see how things go from here, but I, I wonder if that's how we'll get started with how that will end up transitioning into the flashy flash arc. I know there's like the other shit that um, needs to be established. There's the, um, oh yeah, there's the uh, stuff that the, the, uh, um, the housing that the uh, Hero Association builds. I think that's going to be coming in the next arc, I believe. Yeah, that should be happening in the next arc. And that will eventually lead, that will transition into the uh, Flashy Flash uh, arc. So it will be interesting to see how Murata executes this. I am, pr again, I am praying that that arc, that arc is fixed. I swear to God, if it is not, I am going to be pissed. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more uh, One Punch Man content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off of Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, find us on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.